is DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now this jerk I work with is trying to tell people out there that Santa is not real. Well, listen, here's the thing. Uh, PS321 in Brooklyn, they fired a substitute teacher because he told the students in the class that Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy is not real. Like, this is when, you know, lies go too far. Like, you're going to fire the man for telling the truth? I like no. I don't yes. have a I don't have a problem with you know you wanting to teach your kids this lie. You know what I mean? But don't fire the man because he told him the truth. What's the point? Well, and I'm what sh- are the benefits of telling your kids about Santa Claus? I'm sure there's some parents out there that their kids believe in Santa and he just ruined their world. What grade was this again? Uh, sixth grade, I believe. Yeah, he, I'm sure he just ruined their world. Now, do my kids believe in Santa? Yes, they do. Absolutely, positively. Well, what's the benefits? I love I love that kids look forward to something. They look forward to getting gifts, being good, uh, making cookies, baking cookies as a family, uh, decorating the tree, and all the things that come with Santa and Christmas. And also, for a lot of parents out there, this is a good way to make your kid act right. You know, around, I say, October, December, they start acting up. Oh, you want gifts from Santa? You better. You know how Santa always sees who's naughty and nice? Kids act straight immediately. I love it. I okay. think it's fun. Okay, check this out. Lil' Chad and Lil' Tyrone in class. Okay. Uh, Chad parents got more money than little Tyrone. Tyrone and Chad both right out there, their Christmas list to this Santa guy. Correct. All right? Chad gets everything he wants. Lil' Tyrone don't get nothing but some socks. How do you explain to Lil' Tyrone that Santa bought Lil' Chad everything he wanted but didn't bring you what you wanted, Tyrone? Well, is Tyrone good all year long? See what I'm saying? That I'm just dumb asking shit. a question. I'm that just asking du- a yeah, question. Yeah, exactly. That dumbness. That I'm dumbness. I'm asking a question. That dumbness. I'm just asking a question. That's, that's the stupid. Like how do you but how do you explain that? How do you explain that Santa bought you what you wanted, but didn't bring this other little kid what he wanted? Well, you know, Tyrone, Santa's helping a lot of kids that don't have this year. And since you're a good kid and 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 you understand, he's helping those kids that might not understand little Tyrone. Ty- little Tyrone, I'm one of those kids that ain't got nothing <laughs> ever. Okay? I, what if little Tyrone wrote on his list, Santa, I want you to get my daddy a job for Christmas. Huh? <laughs> Hey, Santa, I want you to help my mama through her chemo for Christmas. Oh, Santa grants all wishes, though. This all, just, you always get, he's just the, the big, fat Aladdin. He can do whatever he wants. Well, for those situations, little Tyrone, you got to ask God. See what I'm saying? Oh, 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 God? Well, listen, ain't none of these coming through. Not God, not Santa. And now what little Tyrone do? But he he angry as hell. He mad as hell. Well. I don't know what little Y'all got to stop this. Stop, I don't know stop what this. But my stop kids this, believe in Santa, and I love their face. I love the experience. Uh, Christmas Eve every year, we ring the doorbell. My kids run to the door. There's gifts outside. They think that Santa dropped off some gifts and coming back. Are you going to make Caesar dress up in the Santa Claus outfit? Dude, shut up, year? man. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> Let's go to the phone line. Hello, who's this? This is Grant. Hey, what's up, man? We're talking about the benefits of parents talking about Santa. Yeah, and I, I, I when my kids were very young, I allowed them to believe that Santa Claus was real. Yes, I I went along with the story. And and a true story is I believed that Santa Claus was real when I was young. Me too. Why? But as my kids got older, as my kids got older, I let them discover on their own that that myth or that, you know, there there was a purpose to that, which is, you know, to challenge reality, but not for me to destroy their dreams by their, 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 their thing. Yep. I agree with you. Thank you, bro. Hello, who's this? This is Reggie. Hey, we're talking about Santa, bro. Yeah, I know that. But then you're sitting up there saying, don't teach your kids about Santa and Tooth Fairy, but do you teach your kids there's no God? No, I don't teach my kids there's no God. Then you see, you know I mean? you're wrong. You should. Why would I teach my kids there's no God? I'm confused. There's much, there's much more proof that God, there's much more proof that a God exists as opposed to Santa God. Claus. <laughs> Where's the, where's the proof of God? Uh, this planet that, that we're on in the middle of the sky that's wow. rotating. <laughs> these trees that are growing up out of the ground. These birds that are flying in the sky. Hey, this thing you got called a body. Okay? No, no, no. Okay, who made it then? No. Santa. Santa. Man. Made, the universe is made by itself. Okay? No okay. doubt. By asteroids and everything. But then do your history, bro. No doubt. So I, no the uni- the universe is made God. by itself, but there's not a baby on this planet. God. There's not a baby on this planet that's made by itself. See? It's still got you still gotta take your penis and put it inside the woman and procreate. Something created those children, that's something right. created this world. But I but all that, but I believe in Santa. And Santa does exist, and so does the Tooth Fairy. Just yeah. wanna tell y'all that. But 800 585 1051 What are the benefits of parents telling their kids about Santa? Call us now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 